Namaste. Welcome to Be Your Own God. This is Samira. So today's segment is a very interesting one. I am going to be in a discussion with Krishna Kumari, and so whom I respectfully call auntie, as is the Indian culture and custom to address our elders and with a title. So I call her auntie. So I will refer to her as such. Krishna Kumari auntie is very active in the spiritual field. She, in my opinion, is very pious and incredibly knowledgeable about how to incorporate spirituality in our day-to-day -day activity. But enough about my introduction. Let's hear from her. So namaste. Namaste. This is um, whom I re respectfully call Auntie Ji, Krishna Kumari. And I have a very interesting question for you today. Okay, namaste. Tell me, what is it? So we live in a society that is crazy, hectic, busy. Yeah. The youth, the youngsters of today, young adults and even adults, they leave a very stressful yeah. and busy life. Yeah. Um, we wake up in the morning hustling to get our kids ready for school. Then we ourselves are getting ready for our offices where we spend anywhere, not an, no longer an eight hour workday, but anywhere from 12 to 16 hours yeah. working, coming home, stressed out even to deal with our children. Yeah. You know, and uh, then we're trying to help them with their studies or we just ignore them or we start <laughs> snapping. We're trying to get dinners ready, foods ready, trying to create some time for family. And okay. next thing you know, our day is done and we have not spent even a few minutes uh, either to center ourselves or in any kind of spiritual or energy work. Can you guide us some kind of guidance to incorporate spirituality in our day-to-day -day life? Okay. See, we are used to one way of lifestyle. This generation, sorry I'm using that word, but still, that is a fact. When our grandparents, they were doing work, they had time for the spirituality, all these things. Mm -hmm. And our parents also had. But that time, uh, they used to emphasize more on boys' education, boys' importance, boy-child. Girl-child was already taken for granted as she will be in the house, doing, taking care of the house, children, family, progeny and all those things. Mm -hmm. But that generation, girls, what they went through, they don't want their daughters to go through that. Correct. So what they are inculcating into their uh, daughter's mind is, anyhow, I have gone through that. I don't want you to go through the same phase. You are equal to the brother or the boys in general. So you study well. The thing is, they did not tell them properly that studying alone is not enough. You have to be equally uh, well-versed both in housework as well as maintaining and managing both. That is where your priorities are uh, required. Correct? Correct. So true, uh, we are trying to uh, create equality between boys and girls. Actually not respecting that girls are girls and boys are boys and that we should respect the differences and not try to feel that everything has to be equal. Yeah. You know, there's the right equality and the wrong equality. So how can you continue to expand upon this? So true, the girls were and are now being taught to be equal to guys, but in the process, both the guys and the girls are losing spiritual... Exactly. So See, what happens doing? is the girls, they are given the thought that you have to excel in this field, that field. But they are not being taught or told, to be if, uh, very frank. They are not being told that you are superior to boys because you are able to manage both the house and the office. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is, whether you are working from home or office, physical office or work from home office, you are able to manage both. But you have to do it in such a way that your work is worship. And that housework is also worship. It is not just a servant's work. No. See, a servant may do a cook. A cook may do a cook. Uh, she may do so many dishes. But where is the love element in that? There is. And she's just when you job. prepare just ordinary dal, you have put all the love into it. 
whereas the dal she same thing she'll prepare but there is no love element she has got her mindset oh my child is sick my husband fought with me he drank and he came and beat me up all those negative thoughts are going to that food but whereas when you cook for your children your family you have this positive thoughts i love my family every time you don't have to keep on telling reminding yourself no no oh i love my family i have to do this with love no it comes naturally true so that is why we call work is worship not only pleasing your boss your house is a temple okay so i love that uh, that line that you just used work is worship. worship let's talk more about that yeah how can i bring work uh, is worship in my everyday life yeah see when you go to an office how are you behaving with your colleagues with your boss with your uh, helpers the pune right from the gate man mm-hmm. to it, when you enter the office to the top boss how are you interacting with them why didn't you do the same thing with your family why are you getting heated up any small thing the child drops a bottle drop of water and you start screaming that is not the way to manage your family yeah this Stress. is also yeah this is also work because there is a boss to look over you you are yielding you are suppressing your anger and that you are expressing here which yeah. is not correct we Whereas take care of our children and our kids see, you have to be more compassionate here see suppose you are traveling by a public transport somebody steps on your foot or you step somebody's foot by mistake then you say 100 times sorry 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 the same thing you do at house will you go around saying sorry you start screaming yeah so why this difference you have to treat this also as worship work is worship what you are doing as housework is not just housework to, for, to please everybody it is to please yourself you do it with complete uh, what you say compassion you will get utter satisfaction which nobody can compensate you make a very valid point we do we get so frustrated at work or but yet we are able to manage our emotions much better at work or even with strangers when they accidentally yes, yes. hurt us or something but we take out all our frustrations we lose our tempers we lose our control at home are there any steps that you can recommend that we can do yeah. to you know <laughs> not be like that <laughs> see the thing is here we take everything for granted yes. everyone for granted in the house whether it is our parents our children our spouse or even the helper we take them for granted and any small mistake they do we get agitated and all our frustration which we are controlling there in the office because i'm talking about working people right okay so that frustration you bring it out on these people here for no fault of theirs in fact the family loves you more than what your boss does <laughs> because he is only giving you only as much as you are giving him you you work so so this much of work he'll give you incentive already you are paid for what your work is there right and you show extra work and he will give you incentive but here the love you are getting from them is the incentive and that cannot be compared to anybody giving you anything true very true yeah. so now you you want to know about the spirituality how do you bring it in yes first of all we have to calm ourselves okay. then only we can calm those people how do we calm ourselves yeah correct see when we are doing so many things instead of getting agitated have an open mind switch on the radio whichever is your interesting music mm. or you want spirituality switch on the um, bhajans it just let them go in the go on in the background and in fact that will create a positive environment in your house and your mind also will start uh, getting into the mold rather than wavering here and there see mm-hmm. to some extent you are not following the uh, bhajans bhajans are spiritual uh, songs yeah audience. devotional songs uh, like in churches they sing uh, that hymns. chorals hymns and all those right. things you let it play continuously no problem see after some time you start following that lyrics right so your mind is already getting centered yes in our house morning as soon as we get up my husband he plays on this um, uh, devotional songs whether we listen to it or not it's going into the ear because ears are the one thing which can't be closed <laughs> that is god's creation <laughs> true <laughs> whether it's good or bad you are listening yeah so 
these things when you keep it at that low volume or high volume or medium volume whatever it is whatever the activities are going on in the house still the thing is falling in your ears and subconsciously like they say when some people are sick they are not listening or so in coma mm-hmm. but they say you play music they will react to that and all those things so here also we are in a coma of our world <laughs> which you are not paying attention and then these things will go into our head and we will calm down once the work is done you can sit peacefully you have the satisfaction yes i achieved whatever is needed for my family now i can go full concentration to my office so switching to office work work is worship there too yeah. sometimes we get very agitated doing the work we don't want to do work ever since uh, covid has happened a lot of people don't like to go to the office yeah. they want to work from home or those who are even in the office their concentration is not there for their work they're just it's just they're trying to do the work just to get a paycheck yeah can we create spirituality or bring spirituality or positive energies into our work and how would you do that that's what one word i said one phrase work is worship if you respect your work whatever is the work even scavenging is respect mm. that scavenger is doing for his pet puja stomach worship yeah <laughs> stomach worship so unless he does that he won't get it correct so you do it with devotion you do it with whole heartedness mm. see just because he is paying me i am working otherwise i am not interested no that is not the attitude that is the first step that is the wrong attitude first step itself you should have a positive approach It's not just because he is paying me i like to do this that should be the thinking right not because i am getting paid i am working no now i am talking all this what i have experienced in my life what i have learned in my life like gurus we, we don't have to go searching for them they come to you when we were living in muscat there is a spirituality and they there but this guru started classes there and we went there in india we never went to any course like that <laughs> <laughs> See, because here everything is available, we take it for granted, right? Okay. So when the advice is given at home, people don't understand. They say, "Oh, mom is always cribbing about this, that, that, this. Dad is always saying, 'Do this, do that, do that.' No, no, we don't. The same thing their peers tell, office staff tells, colleagues tell. They will listen. Why?" <laughs>